Hey, this is Dino, and I want to show you uh, fault handling and continue on error with the OAuth policy, the Verify Access token, inside Apigee. So I've got an API proxy here. Uh, it does a bunch of things, but the most interesting thing it does is uh, call Verify Access token. Really, this is just an operation inside the OAuth 2 policy, and it's very simple. It looks at the token that's passed in the authorization header and verifies it. That is to say, it checks whether the token has been issued by Apigee, whether it's uh, not expired, and whether that token is good for this particular API proxy. Um, so really simple. If any of those things doesn't apply, then this policy will um, throw an error, and that enters the proxy into fault processing usually uh, however there is a continue on error attribute that you can set to true on that policy that says you know don't enter fault processing if any of those faults occurs um, so what's the difference between fault processing and not fault processing well let's have a look at the flow um, this is my verify access token uh, policy but in the flow it's um, it's the first uh, step in the request and if it succeeds then I'll run through all the rest of these uh, policies um, th these will all execute um, if verify access token throws a fault then processing jumps to the fault rules that I have defined in my API proxy if I have any in this case I've got a couple one has a condition on it that's set to handle the invalid access token fault um, another is set up to handle the case where the access token is expired. And in both cases, the only thing I'm doing is calling a sign message and setting a specific um, response message to indicate those particular failures back to the um, back to the caller. So in the case where verify token uh, is configured, that policy is configured to throw a fault if there's an error, then fault rules happen. Uh, in the case where I use continue on error equals true, and that's going to be in flow two here, um, it, 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 the policy will try to verify the token. If the token is invalid or expired, it will not throw a fault. So the rest of these policies will run. The good news is it does set a context variable um, under this name. So it's OAuthv2 and then dot and the name of the um, policy that verifies the token dot failed that's going to be set to true if the token is invalid or expired or otherwise not applicable um, it will not be set to true in the case where it's good so uh, let's see this work I'm going to uh, go to the trace window uh, let's make sure I get uh, version revision 5 of this proxy started to bug session let me flip over to my terminal so the first thing I'm going to do is get a token uh, and this is just calling a, a different API proxy to um, to get a token via client credentials so it's just a, an OAuth token um, that's the token so let me copy that into a shell variable uh, and then what I want to do is try it so what I'm going to do is just send that token in to this API proxy the one that I was just showing you and it's going to invoke that verify um, access token policy it's good the token is good so um, processing flows through the additional steps, the, the ones that I was showing you, and you know we, we get the response back uh, as you can see here. Um, that it's it's telling us, hey, that token expires in 577 seconds. It's valid, and you know that's all good. Um, I also have an older token that I can send in, uh, and this one was valid at one point, but it's now expired. Um, so if I send that into the same endpoint, this is the verify access token that does not have continue on error equals true. Uh, you'll see that first policy throws a fault and you see that with the little exclamation mark. And then what it's doing is 
uh, processing uh, the fault rules. And uh, it's going to process the one that says um, the token's expired and you know we just set a message in that policy, a plain text message, your token is expired and we get a 403 back. Um, so that's uh, how fault processing works with an expired access token. If I send an invalid token, let's say I, I want to send um, not an old token, not the new token, the, f the fresh one, but just rubbish. Um, this is not a token at all. Um, that one uh, also goes into fault processing, but it han it's handled by a different fault rule, and it's just telling a, us, hey, that's not a valid access token. So um, 401 service is denied. OK, so let's try those cases now with um, the second flow. And that's the case where continue on error is true. So if I send in the, the good token, same thing happens. Um, I have a good token. I get a good response. Uh, there's no fault, so continue on error is irrelevant. But if I send in the old token to that flow, now we're going to see a different flow. So this is this is the, um, the first uh, flow that I hit with that um, you know with the continue on error uh, which succeeded this is the second one and you'll see it failed but it didn't throw a fault instead what it did was set this context variable saying hey the policy failed which I then um, I configured my proxy to evaluate that and then uh, in, in and set a, a response uh, in the case where um, where that failed variable is true. Uh, it also sets a, um, a different context variable that indicates the failure that it was. So it's either expired or invalid. And if I send in, um, you know, rather than an expired old token, if I send in uh, rubbish here, uh, that's not a real token. It's invalid. So uh, again, we're not going through the fault rules. We're just going through regular flow processing. Um, but we do get access to the, the fault name and whether the access token uh, verification failed or not. So that's how you can, uh, those are a couple of different options for how you can configure your API proxy to uh, send back different responses depending on whether a token is valid, expired, invalid, or otherwise. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, Till next time, keep it digital.